Hey there, welcome to my backyard. You all helped me decorate my backyard and my pool area back in the springtime and now it's fall. It is October here in Western Kentucky. I wanna show you what my yard looks like today. You all were so interested in all of the plants and flowers that I th and things that I did around my pool area. And so I thought you might enjoy seeing how things have evolved over the course of the spring, summer, and now fall. So let me show you around my backyard. And you know, we put up a fence for Pollux. Last spring, we enclosed our entire backyard in a fence so that Pollux had a place to run. Maxi didn't need a fence. He has an invisible fence. He was always able to go out in the yard. He wore his collar and he was always a pretty good boy. He would stay in our yard. But, now, but uh, there was just no way that I thought that I would be able to train Pollux to use an invisible fence and to trust Pollux to abide by the fence. No. So we put in a fence and it has given me such peace of mind and I love it. I can just open the back door, let the dogs out. He can run, he can roam free and, and I don't really have to worry about him. I know he's safe. I know that other dogs are not gonna get into my backyard and I'm loving the fence. So let me show you Pollux's fence. Y'all have seen it in many videos, but this is our side. We put in a gate here so that you could actually get into our pool area. But this is what it looks like. Then we have this whole wooden section here that separates us from our neighbors. The fence spans our entire backyard. And Randy seeded our yard and we put down all this hay, so ignore that. Here we are on this end. That's our little fire pit well, where Pollux tried to bury the rooster. But yeah, so this whole entire area is fence, but there's fence all the way to this side. So he has this entire yard, and then we have the gates here so the lawn mowing crew can get in with their equipment. Oh, see, there he goes. <laughs> he loves to chase the squirrels. The fence has just been fantastic. And Moo was like, what the heck? How come I can't go in the front yard anymore? The fence has been absolutely worth the money. We spent about $4,000 to put this fence in for Pollux, and it has been worth every penny. He has enjoyed the yard all summer. He comes out here and he lays in the shade. He chases squirrels. He just hangs out in the yard. You all know he brings his toys out here and he has had a ball. So the fence, absolutely a wonderful purchase. Then you all asked me about my Diplodenia plants. In the video, Decorate My Patio With Me, I planted all my Diplodenias. They will bloom until the first frost, and that's true. They absolutely will bloom until, in Kentucky, the first frost is like November, late November, sometimes December. They do start to get a little bit of yellow leaves on them, but they look like this all summer long. So what'll happen a little bit later in the fall, we will take these plants out, dump the plants in the woods, clean the pots, and then they're ready to go for next spring. And then I'll plant them around Mother's Day. But see, I do get a couple little yellow leaves. They start to get just a little bit sparse, but they do bloom. The three in the basket here, they kind of go downhill a little bit quicker than the ones in the big pots. Yep, this one has not been great all year, <laughs> but that's okay. They've done their job. They made me happy. They bloomed and it's about time for them to go. So thank you, Diplodenias. I loved you. I will have to completely get a new plant next year. These will not come back for me. And then here's the wheat. Oh, the wheat. It has become Pollux's dog cave, his favorite place to run. He does zoomies in the wheat. He lays in the wheat. He hides in the wheat and he plants his toys in the wheat. And this is what it looks like in the fall. The wheat goes from grass. It starts to put out these plumes. The ends of the grass turn brown. They get little ziggity corkscrews on them. And that's how I know fall is here. The wheat never lies but it is still beautiful. So, so beautiful. It's a breezy day today and I just love how the wheat moves. It's one of my favorite things in the yard. And I showed you all in my, uh, several times, several videos, how tall the wheat was. 
but here I am. I'm standing beside the wheat. I'm 5'2", and it's taller than me. That's why I love it. It's just every year we have to cut this down. Early, early spring, we cut it down to the ground, and it does this so fast every year, and every year it doubles in size. I don't know what the technical name for this is. I call it fountain grass or wheat. The fountain grass is one of my favorite things in the yard, and I know it is certainly Pollux's favorite thing in our yard. Did you see? He went in the wheat. He loves the wheat. Pollux is gonna miss his wheat. <laughs> But about February, we do have to cut the wheat down. If you don't cut it down, then all of it dies. It turns into the little curly cue things and then it just won't produce very well in the spring. So we do have to cut it down. It stays dormant for, I don't know, about four weeks. And then once you see sprouts coming out, that wheat grows so fast. It just like springs up and it's beautiful all again. Well, this is my day lilies. Y'all remember back in the spring, they were full of big yellow blooms and what happens to them once it starts to get cool, they stop putting out blooms and the little like grass parts in here turn brown. And so I could kind of pick at them all summer, pull out all of this stuff the best that I can, but now it's just happening too fast. So once we get about another month in, I will actually chop these down and they'll stay dormant and then they will come back next spring. But that's what they look like in October. Well, this one, this one is still putting out some blooms. Look at that, but that's kind of unusual. We're getting ready to get a cold snap here. And so this will probably be the end of the blooms. Right, Mooey? Mooey loves to get in these day lilies. Then there's my hosta. Whoo, hostas are tough, y'all. They do, over the course of the summer, turn brown. The leaves will curl. The leaves that touch the concrete definitely, um, definitely turn brown and kind of yucky. And I did go through a couple weeks ago all of the flowers that had dried up. They were just brown stalks. I do trim them off. There were a couple that were like this one like I would have trimmed that off I think I missed that one but anything that was still blooming I left but that's the state of the hosta I will just like the daily day lilies trim those down to the ground um, pretty soon and then they'll be dormant for the winter time and then there's the pool look how sad this is y'all it is so so sad I hate covering up our pool it just puts me into depression. I don't care if I can't get in the pool, but I want to be able to look at my pool. But our cover, <laughs> we've had our pool for 12 years. Our cover has seen better days. I really think that this is probably the last winter for this cover, and then we're gonna have to buy another one. We do have a safety cover. The cover latches into the concrete with these clips. And I could actually walk across this cover if I wanted to. It will not give. It will not sink into the water. It's a safety cover. And we got that because we had kids and dogs. And then we will have to put up all of our cushions. All the cushions, the umbrellas, everything is going to have to go into our little pool house. We call this the pool house. And it just kind of sits right here. It has... Randy's little barbecue sign on it. It's next to all of his grills. You all know his line of grills, my goodness. So this is our little pool house. This keeps all of the goodies, all of the stuff out I don't wanna look at. I'm gonna be honest, I very rarely get in here. But Randy takes care of the pool. This is where he keeps all of the, the chemicals and the cleaning supplies, all of the goods. But this is our little pool house. This is where we store all of our um, patio cushions because I don't want them out in the elements so we just put all of our cushions in here during the winter and it keeps everything safe and dry so I can get it back out in the springtime. What's in there Pollux? You don't ever go in there do you? See Pollux could walk on that pool cover if he wanted to. All of our other dogs our schnauzer named Benny the minute we would close this cover he would be the first person to run across it he loved it it was like a little trampoline for him <laughs> was that bollocks and he would always get out here and play on the pool cover he was so funny are you gonna go out there buddy nope going to the yard yeah, 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 yeah. 
This is why we have a fence, y'all. Look at him. Mm -hmm. I can't even, I cannot even get him on camera. He's so interested to see somebody on a bike. He goes nuts over a bicycle. See, it's Maxi barking. Pollux doesn't bark. He just wants to go play with the bicycle. But go, 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 go. Go, Pollux, go, Pollux. <laughs> Jeez. Another reason I hate this stupid pool cover is look at this. These little things stick up, and if I ever walk out here, I always stub my toe every single time. I stub my toe helping Randy put the cover on the other day. Made my toe bleed. Not cool. So I have to be super, super careful when I walk out here. And I don't like when the dogs come out here running around because I'm afraid they're going to hurt a paw. Right, Pollux? You hurt a paw. What you doing out here? Are you checking out the yard? You contemplating it, Pollux? So part of the reason we have all of this mess in our backyard is because someone is building a house behind us. You really can't see their house because of the trees, which is the way I love it. It's way back in the distance, but they did recently seed all of that area. And can you see the lake right there? They are putting in a lake or a pond, whatever you want to call it. So all summer long, we've had to listen to construction and look at a mess, but I think they're finally finished. That's the sad state of my backyard right now. I mean, I guess it's not sad. Fall comes and goes every year. I just absolutely hate when we have to cover the pool it's it's just, i hate it hate looking at this thing i'm always chomping at the bit in march to get the pool uncovered i know i can't get it into march i can't even get in it till about may but i just want this ugly cover off i want to be able to see the water i want to hear the water hmm, but it, it has to happen i know i don't like to be cold i won't come out back when it's cold there's nothing for me out here when it's cold. I'll let the dogs out the back door, let them run. And I think what's gonna happen is the yard, certain times is just gonna be really muddy and wet. And so we're gonna have to close. We're gonna have to close the gates to keep the dogs confined to the pool area when, it, when the weather's really bad. It's sad, I know, but it's gotta happen. Winter is coming. Fall is here and winter is coming. So anyway, that's the status of all of the things that I love and all of the things that you all enjoyed watching me plant and talk about in the springtime. And you can see how much everything has evolved just in basically five months. We're just gonna hunker in, we're gonna spend a winter, and then we'll do it all again next spring. See you later.